at the end of this past year, what were a couple things that you went in, whether you closed the door with got with coaches in there, just yourself, your most trusted people to where you're like, these are the things we need to fucking tighten up. Or these are the things we need to fix. Because obviously you get, you probably get a sense of being very sick and tired of making it so far being like the best team in like the regular season and, and, and being like, what is it going to fucking take to just get past this goddamn hurdle? Well, yeah. What were a couple of things you look at and some changes you might've made or things that you look to? Yeah, I, th- I think, well, you, you do that every year. You always look at, you know, what went, what went right. What are the things that you got to fix? Um, and then certainly when you get to the playoffs, I was talking to Sean McVay about this. You yeah. know, it's like, it's the closest thing to March Madness. I mean, the, the, the competitive balance is is so close and it's a play here or a play there and you know yeah from from playing in this leagues for so long but um certainly we we had some we've had some bad mistakes at some really bad times so you you look at you know obviously last year in the playoffs just we were pretty much in control of that game although we weren't playing very well offensively um i mean our defense was they they showed up yeah and they, they were playing as good as I've ever seen our defense play. And um, then you have a miscue at the end of the game with a, uh, you know, the block punt that gets returned, you know, it, it, it stings. It still stings. It's yeah. always going to sting, but it's just because you can't, those, those opportunities are so precious. You got to take advantage of them when you're in the moment. So you always, you always try to reflect and, and take as much emotion out of it at the end of the season, which is hard to do. Right. And, um, I wish the league would just like shut down for a couple of weeks to let everybody kind of decompress, but that's not the world we live in. Yeah. So you've got to make quick decisions and you got to try to make them with, without being emotional. And it, it, like I said, it's so hard to do, but you know, the opportunity to, to get a guy like Rich Bisaccia in here, Ooh, uh, boy, yes, it, it presented itself and I, it, you know, it, it's one of the, the toughest part of, I think about being a head coach is saying goodbye to other, other people yeah. letting guys go. And, and that's something that I'll never get used to. Um, but it is part of the job and you always have to have the interest of, there's so many people associated with our organization, not only just our coaches and players, but personnel and just everybody that works here. And so you always got to, you have the responsibility of, of looking out for everybody within the organization. Yeah. Does it get harder? Like, this past year, does it sting more than the years past? Like, obviously they all sting, but it, it, was there a sense of like, God damn it, dude. I can tell by your grin. Like, sure. Yeah. Absolutely. But like, there's no, like I said, all you can do is reflect, try to yeah. learn from it and move on. And, and it's a new year. And so it's not something, unless I'm asked about it, that I ever put much thought into it at this stage of the game. Yeah. Where are you at mentally? Like, how's the off season been for you? Like being in that box, like you explained, like it, you wish that you could have like a two week, like just fucking try to remove as much emotion <laughs> as possible. But obviously the farther away you get from it, the more outside of the box that you get, like, where are you at now? How do you feel like going into this year and everything? I feel great. It was, a, it was a really good off season. Um, a lot of transition, which, you know, creates a lot of unknowns when you lose so, so many important people on your coaching staff. Um, like a Nathaniel Hackett, Luke Getze, Justin Out, and um, Mike Smith. Uh, you know, we we lost a lot of uh, really good coaches, Murray Straten. So um, that creates, you know, hiring people's hard. Yeah, especially because hiring the right people and guys that gonna are gonna fit in with with the culture that we have in place. And so that is that is uh, there's a little bit of a learning curve there, but we've been able to hire some, some great people. We were able to promote Adam Stenovich to offensive coordinator and, um, bring in guys that Tom Clements, who, uh, you know, was here previously as Aaron's quarterback coach from his second year, all the way to like year 14 or whatever it was. And then, um, so we, we got some bringing in rich has been awesome. So we were able to, you know, handle that transition and, and learn and kind of grow together. And yet we haven't, faced any you know real tests yet in terms of the adversity that comes along with the nfl season but and then also you know replacing some some key players it's 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 tough when you lose a guy like Devontae adams but that is the nature of the beast right, you, right. you've got to continue to evolve and move on and 
there's no sense in just sitting here thinking about uh, the what ifs or what should have been or what could have been. It's just, all right, here's what we got. How do we make this work? And, and we move forward.